Today is day 22 for my Bon Maman advent calendar. Let's see what's behind door number 22. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So here's door number 22. It's right in the middle of the left side of the calendar. And this is strawberry star anise spread. That sounds really good. One of the things that I really enjoy about this calendar is being able to try flavor combinations that I would never think of or that I've never tried before. Um, I would never think of strawberry star anise as a combination. So let's give this a try. This one is very thick. This is really nice. It's not like a super bright strawberry flavor. And to be honest, I don't really know what star anise tastes like on its own. I know I've had it before, but I don't know if it's a flavor I'd be able to easily recognize. Like if you gave this to me and didn't tell me what it was, I don't think I'd even be able to recognize that it was strawberry star anise. I would definitely not get the star anise part. I don't even know if I'd get the strawberry part. I mean, it looks like strawberry, but it doesn't have like a typical strawberry flavor which is kind of weird, but I guess the star anise extract that's in here mellows out the brightness of the strawberry. So I have a package of these Ladyfingers cookies, and these are what are used when making tiramisu. It even says essential biscuit for tiramisu. These were on sale in the local supermarket recently, and I haven't had them in quite a while, so I had bought some. And strawberry fruit spread makes me think of like strawberry shortcake, so I thought the fruit spread would be really good with these cookies. And if you've never seen these before, this is what they look like. They kind of look like a finger. I always assume that's why they were called lady fingers. And these are really crispy, like very, very crispy, almost like a crispy meringue. They're very, very light. And these are great to eat with like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. You dip them in and they immediately soften up. Um, so they're great. They're not very sweet. And they kind of remind me of a cookie version of a shortcake. So I've taken four of the Ladyfinger cookies and I put them in a Ziploc bag and I've been crushing them up into a flour. Now I could use my mini food processor for this, but a lot of people don't have that. So I wanted to see how it would do if I just crush it in a bag and it's working really well. I'm just using a mug. I'm taking a small mug and I'm just crushing it with the mug. And it's crushing really nicely. And I'm just rolling the mug back and forth. See how nicely it crushes it? It works well because of the texture of these cookies. I don't think this would work as well with um, just any cookie. And, and so there we have it. We have like a flower made out of the Ladyfinger cookies. This is my Christmas mug. I am using it as a mini mixing bowl. I am going to add an egg to it. And then I'm adding the ladyfinger flour. And let's stir this up. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure how many lady fingers to use, so this might end up being too thick. That's what it looks like. I don't need to add any sweetener because the lady fingers are sweet. I don't need to add any vanilla extract or flavoring because they have a very nice flavor on their own. I might add a little bit of baking soda and also a little bit of water just to thin this out a little bit. I'm going to add about an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder.
and I'm gonna add a teaspoon of water. I will be using my Dash Mini Griddle. I just plugged it in. The blue light is on. Once the blue light goes off, we're ready to start cooking our little shortcake. The blue light has gone off. I just opened up the mini griddle. Now let's add the batter. Oops, I need to move it to the middle. So here's the batter. So let's shut this and I'll check it in five minutes. So it's been two minutes. Let's check on this. That's what it looks like after two minutes. I'm gonna let it continue to cook another two minutes. Okay, our time is up. Let's check on this. That looks beautiful. I'm gonna unplug the Dash Mini Griddle. Let's remove this from the griddle. That's what the bottom looks like. I'm going to let that cool off for a few minutes. I don't know if it's going to deflate or not. So I'll be right back. It's been a few minutes. It seems to be stable. It's holding its shape. What I was thinking of doing is cutting it in half this way to have two really thin halves but I don't think I'm gonna do that because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cut it like that or if it's going to fall apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as like my base and I'm going to add the fruit spread to the top. So there's my fruit spread. It's only about half of the jar, but that's only because that's all I have left of this jar. I was tasting it quite a bit and before I knew it, it was half gone. So this is what I have. And of course, strawberry shortcake is not complete without some whipped cream on top. I'm really looking forward to tasting this. So let's cut into it. Actually, I'm gonna grab a knife. I'm gonna cut it in half so we could take a look at the shortcake part of it. And that's what it looks like. It looks like a shortcake. It's still warm, so the whipped cream is starting to melt a little bit, but I'm happy with that. And now I'm gonna taste it. It's a little bit eggy, but that's because the lady fingers are made with eggs also. And it's actually a very springy texture. It reminds me of, you know, the, the little round store-bought shortcakes you can buy during strawberry season. They have like a little indentation on them. It kind of reminds me of that, but a little bit denser. It's very good. I'm totally happy with this. My one wish is that it had more of the strawberry fruit spread on it, but that's my fault because I ate too much of it ahead of time. And I should have let this cool completely because look, you could see, the whipped cream is just totally melting over there. So other than that, I mean, I'm very, very happy with this. That bite had much more strawberry on it. So good with more strawberry. Very much reminds me of a strawberry shortcake. The only thing I would do different next time is put baking soda in instead of baking powder. I just like cooking with baking soda better. I think it has a better flavor, um, but I grabbed the baking powder. So I use that. So. Um, yeah, other than that, I am really happy with this. It's delicious. I'm gonna be very happy uh, eating the rest of this. And that is what I did with my Bon Mon fruit spread today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see what else is in this Bon Mon advent calendar. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been having a very happy holiday season.